got the antibiotic going. She said I gotta be on this for two hours, but I can disconnect it um, from the wall if I need to use the bathroom. I got a heat pad here because my back hurts and my contractions are like on top of each other. I kind of wish they weren't so close to each other. I feel like I'm getting them three and like uh, every every five minutes I have I feel like I'm getting five and five and five minutes. But it's something I can get through, I feel like. <sighs> Guys, my contractions got out of hand. <laughs> they were hurting, like, I don't want to say hurting, but they got really intense. And uh, they were just really close together. I felt like I wasn't getting a break. So, not knowing how long, because this is my first labor, not knowing how long this labor was going to be, um, and knowing that I was only three centimeters dilated last time the doctor checked, I decided to get the epidural. And now I'm all hooked up. Now I'm hooked up to the epidural. This is the button. She said when it turns green, I can press it for more. But I just got it, so oh, uh, I'm pretty numb. Like my legs, I can't really move them right now. I can wiggle my toes, but it's pretty strong. The dose they gave me, and um, it's right there. And uh, they monitor you for like 15 minutes after giving it to you um, I felt the needle go in and uh, a little like a, not a sting but like a little electrical shock in my butt <laughs> when she put it in but um, it wasn't bad I was able to get through it guys good morning yeah. it is 8.50 a.m. and um, at 3 a.m. Uh, last night, I got my dose of Pitocin. Um, also, at 5 a.m., my cervix, they checked my cervix, and I went from 3 centimeters dilated to 5. And then at, uh, I believe, um, 7 a.m., yeah, at 7 a.m., um, they checked my cervix and um, 6 centimeters dilated and 90% effaced. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Last night was pretty tough. The contractions were tough. Um, I basically held off on getting an epidural as long as possible. Because you guys know I was trying to do it natural. But it just, they were just so on top of each other, my contractions. I really didn't know how long this labor would be. So I decided to get the epidural. And I'm glad I did actually. Um, I'm actually, I feel so, I'm actually so happy that that's an option. <laughs> um, it feels like. Um, it feels like I jumped in the Alaskan Ocean, and, and my, like, that's how numb the bottom half of me feels. It just feels like I jumped in cold water and was in there for way too long. Like an instant relief. So I'm glad I got that. And as far as the Pitocin, um, the baby wasn't tolerating it very well, so... They stopped my Pitocin dose after, like, the second dose. And, um, my body is having its own contractions right now, but they're, like, eight minutes apart, she's the nurse said. 
and uh, he's doing he's doing okay right now. She said. She said he, like right before she left, because they just came in. She said that um, he tolerated that the last contraction well. So I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful. Um, I'm still stuffy. <laughs> kind of kind of whack that I have to have a hold. <laughs> But it's it's kind of going away. It's not as bad as it was yesterday. And um, yeah, I, I highly recommend if you're gonna get induced to get rest. Um, if you're gonna get induced in the morning, like me, yeah, I will. I will probably get rest when you get here, like, cause I know you probably won't sleep, cause you're gonna have like you know anxiety and you're gonna be excited for the day the next day so i recommend that when you get to the hospital try to get as much rest as you can because i think that's what messed me up i think that if i had rested in the daytime i would have been able to probably make it through the night with my contractions i just got so freaking tired and <laughs> It's just, they, um, like, I was getting through them. Like, mentally, I was getting through my contractions. But I just wanted to sleep, and I got at least, after the epidural, I probably got, like, an hour of sleep. But, um, yeah, I didn't feel anything after that. It was, so that was a big relief. So, yeah, um. I want you to go get some food. I can't eat right now. Because once you get the epidural, you can't eat. My stomach is like grumbling and stuff. I'm not really that hungry. I have my water. So I'm good. I would just keep drinking water. Um, if, if I like, if they do another check, hopefully I'll fully efface. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to be fully faced by my next check and hopefully I make it to like 7th or 8 centimeters dilated that's what I'm hoping for. I want the peanut ball also and uh, I've been wiggling my toes and trying to just like get some type of control over my legs because um I want to be able, like, when it's time to give birth, I want to be able to at least get on my knees or so I could use gravity to help me get them out. So, I've been doing that. I've been messing around with my feet and trying to, like, wiggle my legs. Because when I first got that patrol, it's a little shocking when you first get it. So... Um, yeah, so I couldn't move them, like, <laughs> at all. They felt dead. So, I'm, like, trying to get control over them. And, yeah, I'm actually proud of myself. I mean, I don't want to feel down because I couldn't do it without that but Yeah, um, I'm actually proud of myself because I, um... I think I I went through a lot actually on my own, you know, because nobody goes through this with you. I mean, you have your birth partner, but it's just you feeling the intense contractions and uh, yeah, just uh, stay positive. That's like my best advice. If you, when you're going through contractions, just stay positive and just find your rhythm and your uh, positive affirmations because that helped so much to get to like as far as I did uh, I think but what I was saying to myself in my head the way I was moving and breathing together I feel like that got me through a lot and I'm glad I held it off as much as possible and uh who knows maybe if I have another baby one day um I could probably do it natural, but um, I'm thinking that like if I had, do have another baby one day, <laughs> and I, I don't have to be induced, because I'm sure these drugs like intensify 
contractions and all that stuff as well. So I think, uh, you know, maybe I could, I could always try in the future. So yeah, I'm actually really proud of myself. Anyway, I'll let you guys know if, uh, I'll let you guys know what happens from here on out. Or if baby comes, we'll see what happens. You guys, I got, well, I guess it's good news. My baby's gonna be born today, but the new doctor that's here, he wants to do a C-section. I really, really didn't want to do one, but he checked me and he's saying something different than what the other doctor said. The other doctor, sorry I look so messed up, but whatever. Um, so the other doctor was saying that I was six centimeters dilated and 90% effaced. He left for the, his, for the day. Now I have another doctor and he's saying that I'm, he checked me and he's saying that I'm four centimeters and 60% effaced. So that's less. And uh, they also put me back on Pitocin. But um, every time I have a contraction, my baby's heart rate drops. <sighs> and he said that that's like, it's equivalent to like somebody taking your head and dunking it underwater and you can't breathe. And he's like, every time you have a contraction that happens he and he, they want to like obviously increase the contractions to make me dilate more but they're worried that every time I get a contraction my baby's not gonna be breathing so that's obviously dangerous so I told him I didn't want to see section like four times but at the same time I'm like what if there's a reason why, you know, he's like, there could be something wrong with the placenta, um, could be a, a couple reasons why this is happening, so, I guess the best thing to do is just have, get a C-section, yeah. I didn't pack for a C-section, but that's my baby's heartbeat, by the way, um, so I don't know if you can see on the screen, but I'm number A2014, and you can see the little hill on the screen, and um, that's my contraction, and the top is my baby's heartbeat, and you can see that it goes down, and you can even hear it, like, because I'm having a contraction right now, and you hear his heart. So, I don't want to cause any damage to the baby. So, we're going to get a C-section. And uh, then after that, well, then we'll do the update. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Bye. You guys, this was one crazy as journey. <sighs> okay, so, the unthinkable happened. Um, basically... I got a c-section and my baby came out he's eight pounds and 2.2 ounces he's 21 inches long and he was born at 156 p.m. Whew. and I'm in pain from the c-section and the reason why this story is just crazy to me because um, I went to get a c-section and I had um, you know remember I told you guys I had the epidural and then they added the I think it's Novocaine I'm not sure I think it's Novocaine and an IV and they use that for when you get the c-section well at least I think that's what she called it and um, they tested my skin to see if I felt anything and I, I was numb, like super numb from my, my feet, my legs, and my abdomen was numb. Or at least I thought it was because the doctor tested me and uh, he seemed confident. 
Oh, God. Guys, I'm not lying when I say this. It, my skin was numb. But once he got past the skin, I felt everything. Like, everything. The pressure. It, it was so painful. It was, like, in shock. I, I, the, the lady, the anesthesia lady, she, I was like, I feel this. She was like, I was like, why am I feeling this? And I... Oh my god. They were like telling me, breathe, breathe, breathe. Because they could tell that I could feel it again. I was squeezing my baby's dad's hand like there was no tomorrow. And I almost like passed out. I don't know how I got through it, but like I felt everything. And I looked at her and I was like, why do I feel this? And she was like, I don't know. I was like, oh my god. Like, it was crazy. I don't ever want to feel that ever again in my life. Like, whew, this whole experience is just crazy to me. And I, re <laughs> I really didn't think it'd get like this. Get actually was a good thing that I did get the C-section because they said that when they were taking him out of me, his um, umbilical cord actually like broke by like. I don't know they just said it broke so when they were taking him out it like fell off like a piece of it fell off and they were like worried they were like clamp it clamp it they said one of the nurses actually grabbed his cord um yeah they grabbed his cord so he wouldn't like bleed out and uh they're like we have to keep a close eye on his cord because this is so baby cord He's here, but he, um, they don't bathe him right away here because they said that, um, there's, like, some good stuff that needs to sink into his body, apparently. <sighs> so, yeah, guys, I'm in pain right now. They gave me some pain medication, some Motrin, um, some Roxy 5 milligram. And, um, I'm still in pain, but I'm okay. It's just, I can't move my legs. And, um, uh, yeah, guys, if you guys think, <laughs> if you guys think that having a baby, if you don't have a baby and you think it's easy, it is not. It's actually, it can be a little scary. I was scared out of my mind. <laughs> like, I, I had tears coming down my face. When they were do when I got uh, got rolled into the C sec like the operating room, because I don't know you can know it's just scary, because you know it's like surgery and you see other people's videos and like you see they look they look scared, but they also don't look like they're in pain. I got the crappy ass end of the stick, but you know what? My baby's here with me. He's sleeping right now, and he's so cute. I'm just glad he's here. I was kind of getting worried that he wasn't coming out and that my body wasn't doing the right thing. But I'm just glad that he's here. <sighs> so, yeah, guys. That is what has happened for this 41-week um, update <laughs> slash birth blog. I know um, it sucks. I couldn't record, but they don't let, they don't let you record in this hospital unfortunately so so yeah guys um as you can see I'm super tired so um tomorrow if I can get myself a little gather together um I'll show you guys my baby right now he looks crusty and I look crusty <laughs> and we're just relaxing right now so I'm gonna let him sleep and um yeah, we'll, we'll update tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.
Thank you.